hello we're in the office this week and i think we're going to be able to finish the office off which i'm very excited about because it's kind of been in a stagnant state for a little while i've been struggling so hard to find artwork and a light for the space but i did end up actually laying this rug out on the wall this morning which this is kind of a really nice i leaned it up against a really tall canvas it's a really really pretty reddish kind of burgundy rug and it's a four by four foot rug i actually had this in my breakfast nook if you guys remember i like the color and i like the scale of this in here it's kind of hard to see with me and like being a little bit backlit first thing i want to do is actually hang up the curtains in this room so then we can actually see all of like the walls painted the floor the ceiling um and then the curtain panels in the space so for these curtain panels, I'm actually going to be mounting our bracket from the ceiling going down. That way I'm able to get the rod pretty far back against the actual beam itself. This is what the bracket looks like here. I think I just came up with a little mounting tip. If you unscrew this and if we flip it, 180 this is the shape of the bracket so then when we actually mount it on the ceiling if you could imagine like this is the ceiling in the wall mount it here so it's holding it closest because if i mount it like this it's actually going to hold it pretty far out and we already have about four inches of the corbel popping out right here <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. It's hard to see. Oh, that's great. Now for my actual rings, these were left on the previous curtains when I purchased the home, uh, but I didn't love those ones. So I ended up taking them off. They were sewn onto the panels. And so I'm going to repurpose them. These right here are the curtains that I ordered for this room. Now these are from Two Pages, the same company I got the curtains for the lobby. And these are in the color light khaki. I shared them when I actually picked the paint color for this room. I knew I wanted to do a lighter curtain against the darker color in here. This is the color I opted for. The only thing is I accidentally sent them the measurements for the living room wall height instead of in here. I don't know how or why I did that, but I looked back at the email after just checking the length and they're longer than I expected. I am going to hang them and see like how much longer they are on the bottom because sometimes that could be a look I think they're gonna look really pretty hanging here. I might just have to hem them I bought these on Amazon and I'll link them below for you, but they are basically curtain Hooks and you just put this in the pre-done pleat So if you were to purchase these two pages curtains and you were to use like older rings or Smaller curtain rings that don't have a huge loop They send you some with them, but they're kind of like a plastic one That's a bit thicker and the ones that I'm using require something that looks like this So I want to share with you how to apply them You can see the pleat right here on the end All I'm going to do is just take this and you kind of just like gauge where you're gonna put it and I just go like right here Kind of push it up that's all you got to do and then it allows us to really easily hang it on the actual curtain ring backlit to share the curtain panels but they look great over here i love them as you can see way too long though i'm definitely gonna have to hem these i think i'm gonna leave them though for the time being work on the window mullions or like the inserts which arrived outside sorry for the mess out here as well that is still there from the ceiling but i do need to seam these and then i did go ahead and order some of those window inserts that go in the windows that kind of make them look like paned windows as opposed to just a big open block this is how they come and i've kind of just been ordering them per room as I've worked on the rooms and like gotten to the next one. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of are a little bit pricey. I think it was like $180 to do this room, but it really makes the windows look so much better. And I wish that the original windows were in this house, but they aren't. So I feel like this gives you the look. Okay, these are what they look like. Now, as you see, they're gonna go in the windows like this. And I got them in four panes like it's going to be basically like a two by four grid and there's two that are the same which are these two and then this one goes in the door frame so let's add them and hopefully i got the measurements right oh this one just needs like the time oh no it like literally uh, it fits perfectly Ooh, the side windows i got perfect those ones are great Thank you. 
So I just placed a bunch of artwork in the office on the back wall here. I've been looking at this art and kind of maneuvering it around for the past like four hours, you guys. I've been spending so much time trying to figure out what I want to do and I don't even know if this is exactly it. I'm gonna have to see once we get the light fixture in if I need to move anything. But I wanted to just share like where I got some of these pieces from because I just love them. This one here is a great watercolor landscape. It is so beautiful. I love the matte and the gold. I feel like it adds a nice touch. Picasso print um, that I got at a flea market and it's in the chunky wood frame. It just felt so me like and that's why I wanted it kind of dead center in this space was because it's really like what I want to be underneath. Like it just, I don't know, I really like it. And then this is a great portrait. This is actually from Vienna from 1941. The colors in it and just how it is kind of very tattered in a sense. Like it's not really perfectly placed on here. It kind of has some age and some wear to it. It's signed down here. Um, I love this landscape. I love the blue in it. I think it's so pretty. And then these two here actually are etchings and they're vintage etchings. I got them at estate sales, both of them. 10 bucks and this one was like, I think like $4. I got two of them, one of them's in the kitchen. And then this guy right here is the tiniest oil painting I've ever seen. I found this at a flea market in my parents' hometown. How freaking cool are these sconces? Hopefully you can see them over the top of my shirt. But got these at the flea market. They are like a wired sconce, super interesting. And I love the wire wrapping here. The patina on the metal is great and the shape is just so fun. They almost like hang and they feel kind of um, like bottom heavy in a sense, but I love that. I feel like it really weights down either side. And I cannot wait to see the light. So tomorrow the light should be here um, or I'm gonna be picking it up and we can see it in the space. The house is being pressure washed right now for you may be able to guess in the comment section below what might be happening to the exterior, but we are still working on the office. Be a little voiceover -y today in the clips because it's pretty loud outside, but the light is here. Look at the light, you guys. I have never been more excited for a light fixture. This is my favorite light fixture I've ever purchased. I'm gonna do a quick little chatty spiel during this audio, but this is a 19th century French cloche that the shop owner actually had an iron frame made for, and they turned it into a light fixture. And I just, when I saw this, it had my heart. I had to get it. Like, I loved it. I loved how it had this kind of soft and feminine feel to it. Whereas I feel the office is pretty masculine at the moment. And I want to add like an element of softness just to, I don't know, make it feel a little bit more inviting, not as, I still want it to have kind of some elements that give it like airiness. And I feel like this light adds like this really unique shape to the um, ceiling. It's not like a block that kind of blocks everything behind it. And I'm on my own today. So we're gonna see how this goes. It's actually not too heavy as you can see. This is not smart. What if I tie it? If I tie it to the ladder, then it will not fall. And I could totally mount it. Got some rope. Okay, I think this is pretty strapped up here. Always gotta Google which wire it is. Okay, I stole a light from the big chandelier just so we can test. Oh, yay! We have light. There's actually three different bulbs in this, which I love. It's more than one, so should give a really nice glow in here. I'm so excited to see this light on. Don't wait for like we could take it down. Like, oh, hello. Welcome to the office. Look at that light. I absolutely love it in here. And honestly, if it was to drop any more, it just wouldn't work, but it is a little lower. However, totally fine. It's above a table. Like it's like basically dining room, like kind of table height. And I'm not going to have a desktop computer in here or anything like that. It's just like my laptop. And then, you know, someone else wants to work in here too. So I love this. I actually love it in my line of like sight. It is such a cool piece. So, and something else, I'm going to change the sconces. 
These just, they're so cool, but they feel so similar, like the shape of them. So I'm actually going to do these cool ones. They're like a squiggle, a zigzag iron sconce. And I'm just gonna do these kind of like, I think like right here-ish or so. breakfast nook chairs in here just because it has the tallest back to it and this was I was gonna consider using one of these in here as the chair because I have a couple extra of them however I think it kind of competes again with the light and I found a chair this morning at an antique store I went to actually find a chair for the front up here normally when I see chairs like this at an antique store they're like I don't know 600 to a thousand dollars a piece but these are only 165 which I don't feel is too bad, and I actually tested them. They're sittable. The leather is so great, it's like really patinaed. But I think I would just get one of these for the chair that's in front of the office space, and I need a higher back chair for behind. That's actually why I'm here. Okay, I just came across this chair here, which is a high back. I've been looking for something with a higher back on it, and this one's actually really cute. It has these arms. It's an antique wood chair, it says. Um, it's on sale, too. It was $3.95. It's marked down to $2.95. Antique carved wood chair with new upholstery, and the upholstery is actually really pretty. Kind of looks gray on camera, but it's more of like a mushroomy kind of mink color. So I got a chair for the front and also for behind the desk, and I want to share them both with you. So this is the chair, and I'm hoping it doesn't feel like off in the space because I feel like I mean, I can't really tell yet, but I, I love it. I think the chair is so cool. It's really comfortable too. And it's like a perfect, perfect height. I love the mix of just different elements. Like you kind of have this bamboo style piece here. Then we have some harsh iron, but the glass just kind of contrasts with the iron and then the curvature, the waves that kind of like, ugh, I love everything about this. So the chair that I got for the front looks like this and I love this chair. It is like a leather sling chair, if you guys can see. So it's actually just a really nice piece of leather that's just like attached onto either side. And it has this great base to it. Like I love the design. It has these beveled studs that look like they're like handmade. And overall, the chair is so cool. It's also so comfortable. Such a cool, just like casual chair. And it works so nicely at this desk as well, which is exactly what I got it for. And it was a great price point too, which I love because it kind of has that Spanish vibe, but it's small. But I'm gonna go downstairs and grab the table lamp that I got. I got myself a birthday present this year. It's a table lamp and I love it. So let's go get it. Look. If you didn't know, my birthday's on July 24th. And I'm not one to like buy myself gifts or anything like that, but something about this light when I saw it, I was like, I want this. I want this for my desk. It's a splurge. It's French. It's from the 50s. It is a task lamp, like a desk lamp. It has the most beautiful brass patina I've ever seen. I just wanted this in my office. I don't know what it was about this piece, but the color, the shape, the style, just what it was gonna bring to the space. I just couldn't see myself finding it similar anywhere else. And I actually Google lensed it to see if I could find it anywhere else. Nothing that kind of had the little ball at the bottom and the streamlined curve right here. Like, could you guys picture me right now just doing some little meetings maybe? I mean, not actually, but maybe editing videos or who knows, maybe I'll do a client project one day and my client could like be right here, you know? I love this light though. It's so cute. In the office, this is the other space, a wall that we have to put stuff on. So there's a wall in front of me, which is right here that has all of the gallery on it. Then to the right of that is a small window, which we're gonna be doing a stained glass DIY in there. But because it was 4th of July and the weekend, the stained glass supply store was closed. So I actually was planning on doing that first before all of this. But then I thought I'm not gonna wait like four or five days. I really wanted to jump into styling this. So we're just gonna do the stained glass a little later, probably in like a week or two. I do wanna hang something on this wall though. And I got something from a Facebook marketplace. I've had this for like a week now and I actually was thinking of putting it in the entryway downstairs but I walked past it earlier and I was like it would look so good on this wall I think and it is a pretty crazy mirror. 
look at this mirror that I found. There is an antique East Lake style mirror, which is a type of architecture, I believe. I don't know if you can see the little details like at the top here. Do you see how they made them into like little peaks? And it almost is reminiscent of like a castle. This was only $100 on Facebook Marketplace. And the guy said that he's had it hung in his house for over 50 years. I also definitely need to give this a bit of a clean. I love that in here. That is so cool. It has a little rosette details that I've also been kind of including throughout the home, like in the top of the bookcase in the living room area, and also little corners of the window trim in the kitchen. It also has a V and then three right after it. So it's eight. I don't exactly know what that means. Today, we are going to be styling the built-ins in the office, which there are two set of built-ins on either side of kind of the archway that leads into the living room. And I just wanna style these with some decor pieces that I love, that I've been collecting for a while, along with some just random books that I have, just to make it feel office-y, you know? Kind of thinking I'm gonna start by placing just some books. And I got some that I really, really love the colors of that kind of have these moody tones to them. Got this pretty kind of bronze and brass vase, which I'll use kind of as a bookend. And this I actually shared because I found this at a flea market a while back, and then I found one actually at a antique store, and I looked at the price of it, and it was like 350 bucks, and it was a signed rodent sculpture. So when I got home, I too found out that mine's a signed rodent sculpture, which is so cool. So. It's kind of a little scary, not gonna lie. Like, he's a little spooky. I won this award. It is a Webby Award, and it's like a spring style, actual full on award. And I think I'm gonna use it kind of as a decor element here. I love the bit of silver that it adds and like shine. Taper candles. I have these like wooden burl candlestick holders. and I kind of just played around with this side and did a little styling over here. And I think this looks really cute. I wanted to share this piece. I got this back in my parents' hometown and it is a memory box, like a picture memory box. It's made of gum wrappers. It's a little tramp art piece, which I think is so fun. And the color looks so pretty in this bookcase. And then this is my favorite piece of studio pottery I've ever found. It has some little people crafted into the top of the pottery. Two lip taper holders and then some books. Another studio pottery that I love. How cute, it could be like a little storage um, box as well. And I love how the artwork in here and the bookcases and decor can kind of be interchanged as I find things that I like so I can just swap them out on the nails or like swap them out of the frames. And this kind of just gives me a setting for the pieces that I find. cannot wait to share this space with you. I love my office so much, so let me reveal it to you guys in three, two, one.
complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeover. It was for myself a little bit of a challenging one. I'm not gonna lie. On the light and the artwork, I was struggling for probably like a week and a half, two weeks. I was constantly looking every day for inspiration. I just didn't know what I wanted to do to like fill the back wall, but I really love the pieces that I found. So some of these might swap out here or there. And something else I wanna say, I'll be getting a new desk chair. I tried working in this last night, like actually working now that I have a light in here. And it's great for like a 30 minute session, but for a four hour editing session, I think I need something a little bit more comfortable, you know? So I'll be browsing Facebook Marketplace to find something for back there, but I'll just use this probably in a bedroom or something. It's such a beautiful chair, so I actually love that I have it. And yeah, I hope that you guys loved this video. And I did want to mention at the end of this, we had a vintage drop over on LoneFox.com like two weeks ago. However, I forgot to share it on the channel. Like I didn't share it. I only posted it on Instagram. So there's still a bunch of pieces left. If you guys wanted to shop any vintage artwork or vintage home decor, like some of the pieces you might've seen in this video, check out LoneFox.com and just click the vintage tab at the top. That will show you all of the vintage items that were part of the drop. I think you guys loved this one. And we, I think are going to be diving into Marie's bedroom next. That's going to be our next space and I also want to quickly thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments on Trevor's apartment and I love love working on small spaces and the architecture in his apartment was just so beautiful so I think it turned out incredible and I'll catch you all in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye guys